to upstate New York. Fall colors abound, and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie, and he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Bills ready to take over. Allen going to go to the air right away. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. First down for Stephon Diggs there. We've really seen him become a true superstar in the last couple of seasons. He's made his first two Pro Bowls after 2020-2021 with a career-high 10 touchdowns to cap off the 2021 season. And only Cooper Cup and Devontae Adams have more catches than him since 2020. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Allen. And Diggs has it. And some space here. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs. 60 yards. And the Bills need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Olszewski now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And the Steelers set to take the field. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 21. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw there, hold in by Claypool. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Pick it in trouble, and down he goes. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Even after three seasons in the league, you can sense that there's room for a huge breakout by Ed Oliver. He has the potential to decimate the line of scrimmage and get to the quarterback from the interior. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Here's Pickett. 
Over the middle, that's caught by Claypool. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Pick it now on first down. And it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. On first down, they'll start. And he lost the football. And fortunately for him, he's able to get it back. But it will be a loss on the play. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain the yard. He's trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. On second and 11 now. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. and comes right back and... He's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. On first down, Allen. And Davis has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. On the counter, this is Singletary, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now, that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing now is Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing is Allen on third. And this is going to be incomplete. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold them to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. The kick by Bass is good. 
So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And this fielded right at the goal line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Open man completes it to Claypool. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball, and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Four yards remain for second down. Harris running straight ahead and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, the Steelers and Bills, they played in the season opener last year, if you recall. And it was the Steelers who pulled off a bit of a stunner. They rallied late, beat the Bills in Buffalo 23-16. Buffalo a little bit of a rocky start to the season, but they would quickly right the ship. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and they will not cut into that 10-point lead. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Allen's throw will be caught by McKenzie. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Working with his second and four. Here's Allen to throw it. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. On play action, Allen. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. Well, they certainly took too long to set up play action. And that gave the pass rush time to get home for its first sack of the game. For their sake, they may start to think about the quick game and leave play action alone for a little while. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Now, Allen. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this one dropped in the end zone. Oh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today. But they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together the drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points the better off you're going to be. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Again, it's Harris on second down. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Pickett back to throw. 
That swung out wide to Harris. And he will have a Steelers first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Pickett. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Looking to throw again on second down. Pick it. Again, it's Johnson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. To the air on first down with Pickett. It's brought in by Harris. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Pick it right back to the air again. Finding Harris on back-to-back -back plays. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down, Maybe later on, he heave one deep and you catch him close to the spot. And he will have a Steelers first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Throw left side, taken in by Claypool. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Back to throw, pick it. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Throwing on second and long. Pick it. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Von Miller just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. I know we don't have a special scoreboard to show it, but the offense, they've surrendered more sacks than they have points thus far. This defense, they're winning in all phases of the game right now. Pick it in the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. That's going to be caught by Pickett's. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. 
You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Well, they show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. To throw, it's Allen. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. That's Cameron Hayward who got in there to take him down. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. On oh, the return is Olszewski. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and 10. First and 10, here's Pickett. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Three yards remain for second down. Pick it a look to throw it here. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Pick it to throw on first down. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Nard. Dialing up another pass here. Pick it. Open man here is Gentry. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Pick it now on first down. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's Pickett. His pass caught at the four. 
And in for the Steelers touchdown. George Pickens from 10 yards out. And the Steelers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown-interception ratio is, what, 3-1 to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And just inside of a minute left, Charles, they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this, but you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit, but you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Bass is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, it's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. One more drive here for the Steeler offense in this first half. 
And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple of seconds. We'll tick by in this first half. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now second and seven from the 23. Now Pickett. Open man downfield is Johnson. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw, pick it. Complete, it's Johnson. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Pickett, he'll look to throw it. He's got Claypool for a Steeler touchdown. Chase Claypool, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Steelers have got it back to within a score. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 so here's the Bills offense now they get ready for their first possession of the second half 
But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's Allen to throw it. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he will be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. One yard is the gain. And it'll give the Bills a first down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing on first down is Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They go right back to Singletary, and he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And now they'll throw with Allen. He finds his man complete. That's McKenzie. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 31-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. Caught right side, Davis. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Moss. Will get down close to the goal line, but not in, as he'll be marked down at the one. 
It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Isaiah McKenzie, a one-yard touchdown reception as his guys are able to extend their lead. So second and goal there from the one, they go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the... Do they throw it? Do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away taken at the goal line and he will be brought down here inside the 20 good coverage as he's dropped at the 17 and now out come the Steelers they did what they had to do to start this third quarter went down got the touchdown to cut the lead but the matching touchdown a moment ago and we're right back where we started at halftime yeah you're exactly right partner they had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown but the defense gave one up and that's the problem right now can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense and he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. 46 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Von Miller, his second sack of the night. And you get the feeling, Charles, yeah, he's got the two sacks now, but he may get more here. We still got a quarter and then some to go. And the way that he is playing this game, it reminds me of one of the best golfers in the world who can use every club in the bag and make a great shot. That's what he's doing with his pass rush moves right now, showing a little bit of everything. They have no way of stopping him. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. The Steelers send out their punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To the air, Allen. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. He came through well with a nice pass break up there. Fortunate that he was on the spot. He's the only guy left to prevent the first down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Allen. Looking for Giggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 
six yard line. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Harris going to get it again on second down, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. There is simply no bringing Harris along slowly as a rookie for the Steelers. He was one of two NFL backs with over 300 carries and led all NFL running backs with 74 catches. Along the way, he set several Pittsburgh rookie records. They run again with Harris. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. 79 yards on the ground for him so far. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Pick it back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Johnson. Touchdown! Kenny Pickett connecting with Deontay Johnson. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball, said, hey! We picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier, probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And here's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. 
they have to feel really good about that last completion. Allen now on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. He's got room at the 30, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Here's Allen on first and 10. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. And again, it's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Throwing now is Allen. And they'll get this down to the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically. But it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything he didn't have any place to throw the football he takes off running and picks it up anyway and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs and really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth not only did he have a chance to scan the field there it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good to throw again on second down Allen Flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bills will add to their fourth quarter lead. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive. And now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. To the touchdown bass to kick it away and this fielded right at the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line out comes the Steeler offense now ready to see what they can do here well that last touchdown we just saw what an important one now it's back to a two score deficit for this crew as they take the field here and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Harris starts the drive on the ground and he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28 yard line. 
That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Pick it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. For the defense, they were all over that. As soon as that ball was in the air, it was dangerous. Not only was it intercepted, CD, but they return it for the touchdown. Yeah, and he read that the entire way. He was reacting before other players had a chance to react themselves. Had the determination to say, this just won't be a pick. It's going to be six points as he takes it the other way to the end zone. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upsell. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going. And then they capitalize a little bit on top. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Olszewski now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Steelers ready to take over on offense. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 17-yard line. After the pick six, here's Pickett to try again. He finds his man, Johnson. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Back to throw, pick it. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. He's got good size. We know he's tough to bring down running the ball. That also carries over to the passing game like we saw there. And at his size, how would you like to try and stop him on that angle route? Him coming out of the backfield, breaking sharply, catching the football. It's going to take a lot more than one guy most likely to break. Look at lost it. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made at about the 43-yard line. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down, they're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. 
On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Singletary again. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Throwing is Allen on third. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And the Steelers set to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Pick it. And his throw here is incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Pick it a look to throw it here. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 42 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. But it's intercepted. They got Pickett for the third time in this game. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. And this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they played this entire game? Not only did they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 24. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. Olszewski now from his end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Pick it to throw on first down. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. Now we'll get whistles, and they signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. One final shot for Pickett. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He still brings it in off the tip here on the deep shot. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance and what by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one certainly was and I think both sides compete against each other all the time you go to each other in practice obviously your training camps your off season but on game day you both want to show your best and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense a complete team victory